Hello and welcome to The Gun Locker. Now it's been some seven months since I first started this channel and I reviewed the Virac HW77K and if you've seen that video you'll know that basically I've used this rifle here in front of me to set the bar to create a set of standards and those standards have evolved with time and no doubt they'll probably continue to evolve um, but I've used those standards to have a basis on which to review other rifles and I figured as I've done quite a few reviews now it's about time I created a gun locker leaderboard and that's what I've done so what you're going to see to the right of me is basically the leaderboard um, and I'm going to run down the results very very quickly it's going to be a short and sweet video this it's not going to take too long um, but I just thought you guys might be interested and within the description down below I'll put links to those actual reviews uh, so you know if you are interested in a particular rifle pop along and have a look at that review and then going forward as well as I um, review more and more air rifles <laughs> I've got a lot stacking up um, I'll give you a spoiler alert what we've we got. So we've got the Remington Warhawk, we've got another Virat, but this time the HW110. We've got a Hatsan, um, we've got, blimey, another Curvin, we've got a Brocock. Um, yeah, we've, we've got some interesting rifles coming on. Oh, and we've got a Battle of the Bullpups coming. Um, that should be quite interesting as well. Yeah, uh, there's, there's quite a lot to come out over these coming weeks, so please, if you haven't done so already, subscribe uh, and hit that notification button as well. Obviously, as soon as they're published, you'll get to know about it, and then hopefully you'll enjoy them and give them a thumbs up. Anyway, without further ado, let's start this leaderboard. So, joint top currently, with four out of five stars, are the Crow Jumbo High Cap and the Virac. HW100T. I don't think there are any surprises there. Um, closely followed by the Diana P1000 EVO2TH and the Curvin Airboss Lord C5 Black Mamba. Guys, I'm looking down at my <laughs> sheets here because <laughs> you know what I'm like, my short term memory is absolutely rubbish. Um, anyway, they both score 3.9 out of 5 stars overall. In joint third place, we currently have the Daystate Huntsman Regal, the Virac HW77K, what we have in front of me here, and the Air Arms S510 Carbine Super Light. All of those are on 3.8 out of 5 stars overall. In fourth place, we have the BSA R10 SE, the Crow Puncher MP03 Custom, you might remember that rifle, that's the one that Andy at AA Gun Locker in Stafford has created. Um, and the Crow Puncher Knight, they're all on 3.7 out of 5 stars. And then following them, um, on their heels as it were, are the Benjamin Aquila, the Crossman Benjamin Armada, and again I'd say the Crossman Benjamin Armada, I made a point in that review just highlighting the fact that Benjamin is actually owned by Crossman <clears throat> and we've also got the Rexim X Ixia all of those are on 3.6 out of 5 stars um, coming up behind them you've got the Gamo Roadster 10X Gen 2 at 3.5 stars followed by BSA Scorpion SE at 3.4 stars and again, that's, um, that was quite an interesting review to do because it was it came as a surprise to me. But anyway, you know, take the time, have a look at the video. Uh, we've then got the FX Biathlon at 3.3. And interestingly enough, don't allow that score to, you know, deter you from buying that rifle if you're interested in it. It's not a high score because it's a single shot because the you know there's not a lot that you can do with the design and build of that rifle with regards to ergonomics, um, but it is extremely accurate and it is a pleasure to shoot. 
So the point is, I've given these ratings out of five stars, but they cover a whole array of topics. And where it scores very highly in one, it may not score so highly in another. It's worth looking at the review. And then we've got, um, following up, the Wrexham X Myth at 3.2. And finally, Krau's N01 Muddy Girl. Bless her, I do like that gun. But she comes in at 2.9 out of 5 stars. Well, that's the leaderboard, guys. And um, as I say, going forwards, any review that I do, we'll pop their scores into that leaderboard and we can see how they relate to the rest of the pack. Well, for now, until the next one, which shouldn't be too long, take care and bye.